What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Legends of Mushroom video and today guys I'm going to be talking to you about the new feature that got added to the game on the last night's reset. Um, just in case you might be a little bit confused on how it all works, should you level stuff up, should you wait? Well today we're going to go into it and I'm going to show you what it's all about. So let's dive straight in. Now you might have realized over the last few days that you have been collecting these little things called soul stones but there's not been anywhere to actually use them. Well, that's what got updated last night. You can see here on the right hand side, I've got a new kind of like item that's just appeared. It says level three and it's got like a red shield. Now that won't be there at first for you guys. It'll just have the little red dot saying something can happen inside here. So let's just go in and we'll go through it. So this is the screen you're going to be faced with. Now, when you first look at this, you're just going to have one padlock unlocked at the top and everything else is going to be locked um and that's pretty much about it now there is some stuff you can click on that does give you some help here for example the little book with the question mark up here uh, you can go ahead and click this right there and it gives you a full description of what's going to happen in here so let's just take a look it says here there is a total of eight soul slots which um each accommodate in a different type of soul with unique effects okay um, and then the second page here, it says fuse is basically fusing a red soul one and red soul two. So you can't fuse green or purple or gold. It's just the red ones that you can fuse. Okay. So you need to do a red soul one and red soul two. That's going to, that's going to be important a little bit later. So remember that in the same, same slot to obtain a more powerful pink soul. This is how you get the immortal souls with two attributes and a random attribute as well. Um, and then you've got this this section here, which is the soul trials, is where you obtain souls daily. Rewards are distributed based on the highest floor reached on the previous day. Okay, and then the last section here is the new summon area. Additionally, souls can be acquired through soul prayer. And it says at the bottom here, and this is very important as well, red soul one is exclusive to soul prayer which means you're only going to be able to get the red ones for soul one out of this summons okay let's now go through these screens so you can see here i've currently got five souls equipped now down here you can see this is where all of the souls are categorized so if we click on immortal spirit you can see i have a purple one in there which is part of the immortal spirit immortal one but it's only the first shard that i've got Okay, you can see it says equipped, equipped. I don't have these bottom ones at all on anything right now. And again, that's going to be important in a moment. Now, if you want to see what all these different ones do, like these, these pink ones, you can go to fusion. And here is where you would connect the two red ones, the red soul one and the red soul two, which match for that particular skill. And I've got to be honest with you, these immortal skills are kind of pog. Like if you click on them, they've got pretty good stuff like global HP, HP regen. Of course, remember when you do create this, eventually you're going to get a third bonus stat as well, which I think might be a random stat. Um, so this is where you would go ahead and equip them. But again, this is only going to matter for the red ones. As you can see, I've got a red one here. Okay, so I could potentially put that in there, but I don't have the, the second one, the second part to it. But this is where you create your immortal souls, but you're not going to need to worry about that straight away and then of course we have salvage this is really really important because you're going to be collecting a lot of green ones a lot of purple ones and a lot of gold ones that you're just not going to need uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and select them and you're going to salvage them for soul essences and then you can use these soul essences to level up the ones that you are using okay um, i'm going to keep these gold ones for the moment i may salvage them later on but as you're going up the levels of the the boss levels on the floors i'll show you in a second in the like tower style thing you're going to pick up bunches of these and eventually it's going to say your inventory's full so what you do is you come over here and you would click on unique and below and that's going to bring up all the green ones for you and then you can just select all and salvage all your green orbs and get a bunch of soul crystals and then if you want to get rid of the blue ones you would click on well and below that will bring up the blue ones and the green ones you pick on rare and below, it's going to bring up all the uh, purple ones and the blue ones and the green ones. And if you click on epic and below, it brings up the gold and so and so forth. There isn't really an option here for red. I think it would be great if they updated this to have the color 
on here and like they do with the lamp rather than just having the words just to make it a bit more easier for people to recognize which one they want to click on but that's how that works so you would salvage ones you're not going to use get some more soul crystals and then you can use those to level up and then if we go over to acquisition which is the fourth tab along you can see there's two different sections here we've got soul trial and soul prayer we'll start with soul trial now soul trial is that tower style the last time i saw this was in like like killer instinct or mortal combat <laughs> like a tower thing where you go up the bosses um you'll find that on the first day you do this you'll get up to 110 and then you won't be able to go no further you see it says what warlord trial has ended for today uh you can come resume the challenges tomorrow they do get more pro progressively harder once you hit 100 but everybody on the server is at 110 right now <laughs> so every most most people got there and for doing this i got a whole bunch of green like souls which i was able to salvage for bunches of soul crystals and i also picked up a bunch of these like marbles and those are really 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 important because if we come out of here you go to the soul prayer this is the new summon thing that's just been launched on the game so you will then use these like marble looking things to then summon souls and this is where you can potentially pick up the red ones but and here's the thing you can only pick up the red ones at the moment from this, the, the soul one section. If you go into the reward list, you can see that blue has an 80% chance to drop in. Rare has a 16% chance to drop in. Epic has a 3.6% chance to drop in. And legendary, which is the red ones, have 0.4% chance to drop in. So I was lucky to get one when I'd done this yesterday, albeit it was a defense one that I got. It was still pretty lucky nonetheless. The thing is, as you can see, there's only eight red ones here. And all eight of these are the red one souls. There's no red two souls in this summons currently. So the point I'm making with that is if you do get lucky with some red ones, some gold ones, some purple ones, I don't see the big issue at the moment in leveling up some of these. Now, I wasn't going to use my souls. I was going to wait and save them all for the pink ones. But currently i can't see any way that you can actually pick up these pink ones um at the moment it's just the level one souls that you can pick up now i did look in a few different places and i'll show you where i looked if we take a look over in this area here we can click on family brawl this is another area where i've seen that you can actually get souls from if you go into the exchange you can see there is red ones. There's a red one here, which is a random, not random. You get to choose which red one you want, but it costs 10,000 of your credits to get it. Um, and there's also a random gold one there, random purple. Uh, I don't think there's a random blue. Personally, I'm saving up my credits currently because I want to get myself the star array skill. So I'm waiting on that. So I won't be getting another red one just yet. Uh, but if you do want to get yourself a red one, if there's a specific red one on red one that you're looking for, you can come up here and you can choose one of these specific ones using 10,000 credits from the um, the brawl. So the brawl shop. That's one place where I've seen these things. Now, the other thing, of course, is now this is a new feature that's just come out. There's going to be a new rush, of course. So we have the soul rush. It's seven days long. And yeah, of course, you can come in here and you can buy, buy more of those marbles to do more summons. I think after I got up to tower 110, I had like 150 marbles to go and do a bunch of summons. Um, the price of the packs is quite high considering that I got quite a lot from just doing it free to play inside the tower. We'll take a look. So you can see here, you, again, the 2000 hammers per round. I already done uh, two rounds of this almost. So that's pretty good. Um, let's go over to ranking rewards. You can see you don't get no orbs on this. Again, it's the same thing. It's the Skyrider pass shields that you're going to be getting, which is what you're going to use inside the rush shop uh, to get the mounts, of course. So that's what you get for the prizes here. Um, as far as the actual packs go, again, there's no extra orbs and stuff in here to get. It's just the marbles to do the summons. And you can see here the packs. It's going to be 65 for 100 bucks. So that's going to be six presses of the 10 and one of the five. I mean, that's 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 a lot. I mean, based, based on that, that means that I got 150 last night from that tower, which means I got like $200 worth of orbs just from doing it free to play but if you are pushing if you're one of the wows on your server and you are pushing then there are some packs in here to get some more orbs so you can go ahead and keep spinning to try and get more of those red ones again if you are buying packs in legend of mushroom please do make sure you do it with aptoid 
because that is the best way to make your money go as far as possible. I'm currently doing a collaboration with Aptoid. There are links down in the description below to download the Aptoid app and also download the app wallet. I've also got a promoter code, which is WORTHYMUSH, all in capital letters. Make sure you put that in the rewards section on the promoter codes inside your app wallet to get an extra 5% back on all of your purchases. I always try and make people's money go as far as possible when you're buying packs on any kind of mobile game. On this particular one though, Legend of Mushroom, it's great to be collaborating with Aptoid so you get a nice solid cash back on all of your purchases. Um, okay, so let's go back to over here. Now, the sort of point I'm making is here, there is no way at the moment, I don't see any way to pick up these red two shards to enable us to go and make immortal souls. Now, not to say that there won't be, I'm pretty sure there will be, but I don't know how at the moment you go and get those, whether it's going to be in an upcoming event or whether there's going to be another way to collect them. But currently right now inside the summons, there is no way to get this in the soul prayer right now from what I can see. The reward details are nice and clear. There's eight there and none of those are the red two shards. They're the red one shards. So with that being said, currently I decided to go ahead and level up some of my stuff because I mean the stats I'm getting from this is kind of good. It's helping me push through the void right now. Uh, so I leveled up this red one to level three. I didn't go too high because at the end of the day is defense. It's probably not the best stat, uh, you know, HP and attack will always probably be better. Um, but I leveled up some other stuff. I got this one to level five. I got a nice HP bonus. Um, level three on crit resistance, 133% is kind of nice. I took this up to level nine because crit damage is what my build is all about for my Dark Lord build I'm working on. So I took this up to 129.5% on crit damage. And then I also got myself some basic attack damage just to help out a little bit. But that's not obviously great for my build. because My build's all about the skills, of course. Um, also, something else which is a really nice little feature they added to this, when you start putting these souls into these slots, you're going to also notice the soul display button at the top and you can actually choose what display you want it to look like. It's a, cos it's a free cosmetic basically that you get with it. So you see with this red one, I get like this multicolored like rainbow effect, but look, you can do different ones you, and you, there's no change in stats for doing this. You can choose whichever one you want to use. Um, you can see here, look, it's just, it's just the display. But I believe all of these stats actually count. Um, it's just what one you want to actually use. But I decided to go with that one because it looks kind of cool. But you do get the stats on all these once you actually equip these into the slots. Okay. Um, and then we've got preview up here, which basically shows you all the different orbs and all the different percentages they have. You can see here, if we go down to legendary, the first eight at the top here. Let's just have a look. So we've got basic attack combo, counter, crit damage, and then you've got crit resistance, attack level one, defense level one, HP level two. And then you get onto the second set of orbs, which again, we can't seem to get right now, which is power crit, skill damage, power damage, healing, boss damage, and life renewal, skill crit, and boss damage uh, resistance. Boss damage resistance, that's a pretty good one. That could come in real good handy. Um, so yeah, these ones you can't get just yet. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, how they go about doing this so we can get these second red orbs so we can start making the immortal ones. Stay tuned. Um, the last thing I'll show you is if you, after you've put your souls in, if you wanna see a, like, a, like a, in front of you, how many attributes you're getting from this, just click on the attribute details in the top right hand corner and it will give you a overview of exactly what kind of stats you're pulling from all of your shards. Um, the only thing I was kind of interested in is can you like can you can you stack these? I, and that, that's a question I, I don't know the I don't know if I know the answer. We're going to try and look at it now. So you can see here, I've currently got this one in, which is three thousand eight hundred and forty defense bonus. Um, this one here is basic attack damage. Let's remove this for a sec. Okay, now you can see here from my attributes, my defense bonus is three eight four zero. Will, and that's because of the red one. Will that go up by another 640% if I put this in? Let's have a look and see if we can do it. Okay, the answer is no. You can see it went in and it replaced the red one. So you cannot stack these. They do not stack. You can only put one of each type in. Okay, that's interesting. At least we know now. That's good. So we put that back in. That's awesome. Okay, and there you go. That gives you an overview of what your stats are looking like. So, oh, you can't stack these. One of each you can do until such time as you're able to get two of a particular orb enabling you to make a, make a, make a, make a pink one, make an immortal one. Then you come over here 
and double them up and make an amazing pink one. But again, you'll have to stay tuned as to how we do that because right now, nothing in the store, nothing in the shop, nothing in the events. And from the acquisitions, again, we can't actually see any of the red two orbs. So, hmm. If you know the answer where the red two orbs are coming from, leave a note in the comments below because I'm sure we'll all like to know. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully that kind of gives you a full explanation on how um, this new feature works. If you have any questions, by all means, drop it in the comment down below. If you've got any advice, tips, like always put them down below. We're always happy to learn from the comment section indeed. Um, again, don't forget to check out Aptoid for all of your purchases. The links are all down below in the description. And that's going to be it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.